you guys ready to start the show? I, uh, I have a story that I was going to do, or that I had planned. Really, I'm just threading the needle. You know, I've never used one of these. What's this, a mic stick? Is that what you call it? <laughs> um, but I want to tell a real quick one, because uh, Steve was talking about arena rock, and that was, I, uh, I never, when, like, uh, we call them butt rock bands. Uh, <laughs> I think that's still a phrase that rolls off my tongue. Yeah, butt rock. I was listening to The Cure and stuff. I was putting eyeliner on one eye. I guess that's because of <laughs> Clockwork Orange and combat boots. I was a skateboarder, but I... Uh, and then I started wearing Raiders hats. You get really confused in small town Montana. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I never had been to a big concert like that. I think the one time there was a big show like that in Missoula, Montana, it was 1985, and it was... Uh, Beastie Boys and Fishbone, which would have been great. Uh, but my dad wouldn't let me go, even with a chaperone. He's since apologized. I have accepted. <laughs> but, uh, so I never did anything. And so uh, I, for a while I was living in Austin, Texas, and uh, uh, me and my friend Brendan Walsh were like, uh, heard that the Scorpions, Dokken, and Whitesnake, in that opposite order, were gonna be performing. <laughs> Yeah, it went, <laughs> Scorps were last, man. Uh, like I call them Scorps. I fucking don't like any of these bands. I have a bunch of their songs memorized for some fucking reason. Um, but we're like, let's go. And it, it was a big uh, arena in Austin, but it was kind of sad because they anticipated the turnout would not fill the arena. So in the middle, there's just a partition, like a curtain, like, mm, we're old curtain. <laughs> And uh, they just kind of, so the stage was in the middle. I guess otherwise they're either in the round playing, that'd be awesome, but, or I think they're further back. Anyway, there's a curtain. And I wasn't drinking, surprisingly, um, but my friend Brendan was. And while uh, the Scorpions were playing, like we sat through all the other shit, like, uh, who's the guy from Whitesnake? I can't. He was like, certainly is a lot of nice tits in Austin. <laughs> he found it necessary to announce that. <laughs> and girls were like, no, we're not showing you our tits. It's not 1987, dick. Um, but he said that. Anyway, so I was just watching like kind of, kind of, I kind of like the Scorpions. I'll take that back. I was, and, and uh, they were about to start Rock You Like a Hurricane and my buddy Brendan came up and he's like, let's go down there and let's get on stage. Let's fucking do it. Let's get on stage. And then we didn't talk about what we'd do once we were up there. Um, but he used to work there. He used to do theater stuff like uh, set design. And so he knew this way. And we literally, we went, and there's a security guard. We were like, yeah, there's some light bulbs that need to be replaced on the base of the drummer kit. And the guy's like, all right. Like, I, I was holding, I was mime holding nothing. Yeah, we have some light bulbs with... <laughs> so uh, they let us in so we went so we're behind the band now behind that partition and uh, and Brandon's super excited he's super drunk and he's like let's get up there I'm like yeah I know the plan but I was super nervous uh, so we were behind and we realized we were after we went behind everything and went crawled through the uh, empty arena seats we were behind the drummer like being when you get on stage during a big giant rock show, you're not supposed to sneak behind the band. Um, because when we did that, he was so, this was kind of, 9-11 was still fresh. People were on edge. Uh, so when you, two people come out from behind on either side of the drummer, he'll, he'll just fucking stop drumming. He'll maybe drop a stick. <laughs> so we went, and he stopped drumming, and they're like, and every, and we, Brendan just started headbanging, and for whatever reason, I started doing the robot. Like, I, I there's no breakdance scene where I'm from. I've never popped and locked, but I just started going, yeah, fucking, oh. And, and uh, someone immediately attacked Brendan, and like, they were like, giving him elbows, and I'm like, yeah, that's what this is all about. But I was just left up there, like, all right. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna, on my own accord, just kind of walked off. 
And then a security guard's like, uh, I'm the fat one, I'll just walk you. And he just didn't. And he let me up front. I just watched the rest of the show from the best seats in the place. And when I left, Brendan's like handcuffed with cops. Like, it's like, you, you had a way different bouncer uh, than I got. Mine was nice. I don't know, that's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs>